Now we're going to cut some mats on the 750 Simplex Plus cutter. This is an enhanced cutter. It has lots of extra benefits and features on it. Let me show you how this cutter works. This is the squaring arm. You set a full sheet of mat board along the edge before trimming it. This is a stop. This is used to mark the placement when cutting several boards the same size, and that's going to come in real handy. The sturdy cutting base is 3 quarters of an inch thick, and it's covered with a high-pressure laminate and a very nice-looking gray finish. The guide rail is extra wide, and it carries both the top and the bottom measuring stops. The 750 also has a full hinge, which allows complete access to the machine. The 750 also has aluminum-clad channels for the mat guide to ride in. To adjust the mat guide, you unscrew the knobs, push them down until they snap, and then move the guide to the measurement you want and tighten the knobs. It makes for very accurate and parallel borders on your mats. The combination of the squaring arm with this extra long base really allows you to cut any size mat board you'll need. Now we're going to trim down a board. You're going to take off your little stops. You don't need those. And if I had a big sheet of board, I'd take this whole mat guide off, but I don't. I have sort of a small one. So I'm going to put this at 16, and I'm going to measure over in this long bar here, slide the stop up to it, and lock in the stop so it'll hold it down. Now it'll be against this bottom edge and held in place with that stop, and then I'll take my straight line cutter, and it's set for mat board, and clip it on, okay, and bring it right through here, all the way down, and we've got a piece of mat board cut to size. So that's blanking your board, and it's a nice, clean cut. And you'll end up with a perfectly square board that way, so you can make perfectly square mats. Now let's put in our slip sheet and cut a mat. Offset corners could be any size at all. Just this little space in here that's allowed in each of the corners to make a nice decorative touch. Could be a quarter of an inch, could be a half of an inch. Let me show you the back side. The offset on this one is a half of an inch. The way I measured this is that I've got a one and a half inch border and then two inches, which will include my offset. So I'm going to have a one half inch offset. I also write on my mat often just so I can keep track of it. That I'm going to cut my outside lines first, and those are the short lines, and then my inside lines, which are the long ones, I'll cut that second. Here's one that's already measured off. I've got my lines drawn with pencil. There we go, get it up right up against there. Now remember, we're going to do the outside. I'm going to write this down short so I don't forget, because that's what I'm going to do first. Put my cutter on the track get my mark lined up to the short, the inside. I'm cutting the outside, but I'm cutting it on the short measurement. So I push this down, bring it down here, and stop on the short one. I'm on the inside here, short measurement, cutting the outside, and stop there. Right, make sure we get it in the corners there. Okay. One more side, and we will have the outside cuts made. I'm going to have to... Now, this doesn't fall apart yet, but you can see... Let me hold it over here. You can see where the cuts are. Okay. Now I'll put it back in the cutter, and I'm going to have to reset my gauges here. And this is going to be for the other measurement, which was the 2 inch. So I bring it up to the 2, lock it in place. Okay, got it in place. Now this is going to be the long cut. And I'm on the inside, bring it down to the long mark. Put this in, make sure your slip sheet stays in place. You have to replace that slip sheet 
after you've been cutting mats a while or else it'll end up all in shreds. I'll tuck mine in there a little bit. If it gets too messy looking, it's going to interfere with your cuts. Okay. One more. Oop, you can see the parts all falling apart already. I try to like to keep this together even though it's starting to fall apart because you have different heights of the mats that way. The cutter may not run smooth. So this way I know I'm all on the same level. There we go. Bits and pieces and parts all fall away and you've got a beautiful offset mat.